Where would you like to go next, guys? Because I've got two. Oh, Sunu. Oh, Sunu. Oh, All right, Sunu. again, there we go, people. Yes, it's time. Uh, it's listen. It's time, John. Normal service resuming at the MRT. Like, are you mad? Listen, guys. All this is this is just rinse and repeat kind of business now, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I was here for Palace. I was here for West Ham. I was here for Burnley. I was here for Forest. I'm now here for um, William, William Carlett for Newcastle. And Newcastle mm. got pumped, bro. We, that, that was the way to beat them because what happened to us out there was a farce. It was a frigging farce. And how ironic was it, yeah, that um, our first goal was a, was a goal line sort of decision kind of goal. You know what I'm saying? Referees watch. Oh, yeah, it's buzzed. Goal. Give the goal. Because obviously Gabriel's gone for the head. A great save by Loris Carrius, by the way. Holy smokes. What was he? Who, who, know, right? who knew he was hiding in the back? He actually, actually had a decent game. He had a good game, in, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah far, really well. in the four goals. Yeah, <laughs> except the four goals. <laughs> he, had, he had a decent let's, game. Let's look at the small details now. Let's <laughs> 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 not get caught up in semantics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're looking at the nooks and crannies, bro. No, nah, yeah, but that, the yeah. thing is... We, we, listen, t- Newcastle came outside, yeah? And they learn what we are. They learn what we were. You know what I'm saying on that day. And yeah, it was just why a super, uh, huh? Sorry, I don't know why Lola's laughing. Man. They on. got they got flogged, bro. They, they got, got flogged, bro. Like, you know, like there robbed us at St James's, and then we came and we told them all to line up. You know, like we were caught slipping in Newcastle, right? Yeah. Fair enough. Like it can happen yeah, yeah. to anybody. We got oh, yeah. caught slipping. Yeah, this yeah. time we, you know, like we violated them. We told man, all of you line up now. All of you straight in a straight line, single file. Who's who's this kid? Miley, line up, blood. Who, who's that? Line up. All of you lot line up. I don't give a damn who you are. Peter, right? Three things, three things. Mm. You stomped a stone cold Steve Austin mud hole. <laughs> into these into these Newcastle United players. That's one thing. You know when Austin Two. stump. <laughs> Two Arsenal are, are irrepressible. They've been the best team in the country this year. 2024 has been the year Ooh. of Arsenal. Post the buy has been Arsenal. I'm three. You. you know, you know what we said about the Liverpool game? You know what we said about the West Ham game? Mikel Arteta is very vengeful. He's very spiteful and he's all he keeps every single receipt because there was an instruction from those two those Arsenal players, <laughs> Bruno Gimares, him. Mm, mm, I want his one. little Ike. I want his. I saw. I saw Havertz moves. I saw Havertz getting physical. <laughs> in fairness, he got oh. physical at St James's. In fairness, as well, <laughs> it was physical out there. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and, and you, see, you see those three elements. You like, bro, like Arsenal weren't mucking about. They're not been mucking about all year. Huh? <laughs> and he's working for the top again. Oh, I give not, can, can I not, can I not give credit where credit deserves, bro. Give it, blood. Give it. Oh, that's funny, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm on the first. I'm on the first leg of a, of a quadruple. The Jurgen mm. Klopp retirement tour rolls on. <laughs> As you were, man, as you were. No, nah, listen, AD, I love, I love what you before, before, love before we have to take before we have to um, change the rating of the podcast. Yeah, mm. <laughs> no, nah, I loved what you did there. Listen, bruv, I tell you what, yeah, I think you're bang on. You, what's ironic here? Obviously, we had the midweek defeat at Porto away. You're Arsenal in Europe. I, I'm sorry, it's in our DNA. This. This is our DNA. This is, this. you know, like, it doesn't matter which Arsenal turns up. Like, whether it's an invincible Arsenal, a double-winning Arsenal, a, you know, a, a finishing eighth Arsenal, a frigging, you know, a title charge. Look at us. Look at us in Europe. Guys, we cannot, we do not know what it takes away from home in a, in a knockout stage, right? I, I think we'll clean it up when, when they come back to the Emirates anyway. And it's not for another three weeks, I don't think. Two or three weeks is the second leg anyway. I think I think we'll, we'll we'll do the business. Porto are not good; they're not good. Um, but yeah, fair play to them. I mean, they're in the last sixteen, so they're no mugs either. And you gotta you gotta rock up and show up. But in the league, you know what was ironic here? Yeah, because I thought Newcastle, because they're, they're the first team that really started this blueprint. If you go back to last season at the Emirates, they knew how to suffocate us in terms of scoring. Like we could not score goals, right? And we drew nil nil there, and then that was at like the beginning of like. The kind of the the end of Arsenal's like prevalence, like you know, last season. Because in January it was like we had a horrible January, and we had to try and bounce back in February, which we did a bit, and then it kind of went peak tong from there. But 
New Eddie House said in his post match, like, you know, yeah, they asked him, like, you know, were you trying to do like what you've done previous years? You know, even like even at St. James's, where you nullify Arsenal's opportunities and things like that. He goes, No, actually, we came to actually go for it and attack. And I said, Ah, there was your mistake, Eddie. Eddie, what have you not learned? Listen, you got you got uh, you got three points against us at St. James's. You got a draw at the Emirates last year. Okay, we beat you at St. James's last year, but that's when the title was over anyway. And you lot were secure more or less top four. Mm. What made you think with your decrepit squad that you haven't got, right? Thought you could come to the Emirates and play football. They came to play. I said that's that was their mistake. Their mistake was to be that. It was like, oh my god, what who are this team? They thought they were Guys. the Miz. Huh? They were the Miz. They thought they were the Miz. But let me tell you, their man, their man got pumped. Bro. Listen, let me let me let me chime, let me chime in here and just, and just quickly, Oscar. We've been punching guys in the frigging face lately. That's what I was going to talk. Been, we've been banging you lot up, blood. You know what I'm saying? We don't care who you are. We, we were singing how many, how many. Um, who put the ball in the Geordie net? Who put the ball in the Geordie net? Who put the ball in the Geordie net? Half the effing team did. Who put the ball in the West Ham net? Can you believe it? It starts from the clubs that we've scored five or more against. Because when it got to 4-0, we thought, oh, here we go again. Because it was like 4-0, I think, after 70 minutes. And Peter, what? guess what? There's a long list of teams, bro. <laughs> it's not one or two. <laughs> we could be here. We could be here all season. You know what I'm saying? We could be here all season. Arsenal got the best defensive um, record in the Premier League, by the way. You hear that? Only Liverpool, I think, has got more goals than us. I think you scored one more goal. Potentially. That's, 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 you, that's, that's you, impressive. That's but impressive. your goal difference is better. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. We have the best goal difference in the league, but I think Liverpool have scored one more goal. But yeah, this is the team with no certain centre forward, remember? This is the team that needs to have a centre forward. They And all of a sudden, when our t- in the new year, 2024, when we score, when we score, um, when we take our chances, sorry, now our, now our numbers are racking up. They're, you know, we're making up for lost time, don't get me wrong, because we weren't scoring goals in quite a few games. But you know what I'm saying? We put four past Luton, if people forget. We put, you know, we put, we put in, you know, four past Bournemouth. Teams have been holding corn. The, is this knee jerk or, like, should your likes of your Trossards and your habits is be getting more of a look in in comparison to like a, like a Jesus? Because... I feel like this hot, hot, blistering, piping hot run has sort of coincided with him being out. Well, do you know what's ironic? Great, great point. And I think something needs to be said there. Something okay. needs to be said on that part. And okay. I and I think it will be interesting to see when Jesus is back because he was on the bench on, on Saturday, which is good to see, mm-hmm. but we didn't even need him. But yeah. when he gets put in the squad, like God knows when he will start a game because I can't see man dropping both Trossard and Havertz. Like mm. that's not going to happen, right? So, or if, if it is, it was good. It was phenomenal on Saturday. So, the, what what frustrated me about him was that he didn't score his second chance. The second one, when he's one on one with a keeper, I think dink, dink that finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but that's that's the habit. That's that's the habits you're going to get. When you're playing well, you can give him grace. When you're playing well, you can clap him up. Yeah, it, it yeah. was annoying, but you know, whatever. Um, but I will tell you what, ever since La- Jakob Kivior guys came into left back, right. I don't know what it is about it, but he's been the only difference in terms of personnel since since Dubai. Jakob hey, Kivio comes Jorginho. to the left. Jorginho's had a bit part, though. He, he, he hasn't started every game. Jorginho but, was not a starter beginning of the season. But Oscar, he was not. You know my thoughts on Jorginho. You ain't <laughs> yeah, going to freak me. But, but, that's, but, that's, but that's my thoughts on Jorginho, because I think Arsenal fans have been bum-licking him the last three weeks now, yeah? Whoa, so, whoa. Look, I'm not too yeah. sure. Look, they have. They've been, they've been inside. Everyone's been like, this is for, why did Chelsea let him go? This is the... Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, what, what game was it? What game was it when they said it was his best 20 minutes in England? He came on, he came on against Palace and they said, yeah, oh, it's the best I've seen him perform in England. <laughs> what? Oscar, steady, steady, his, his, his acute oh, part of Patrick. Patrick. You're God. joking. I took it. I took about my fantasy like a week. Oh, ago. that's a stinker! That's yeah. an absolute <laughs> look, 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 they're, they're saying uh, Jorginho is spectacular. Oscar, stop hating. Uh, Oscar, relax. Look, I'm. I'm just simply saying this. Arsenal fans are bumming this guy. Yeah, they love Jorginho. Fez, Jorginho is great, but Jorginho does not start every week for your club. The same way that. Thomas Partey, when he started every week for Arsenal, fantastic midfielder. But towards the back end of the season last year, you saw his liabilities. You saw him lose concentration. You saw him make mistakes. Okay. And then the top player that you're seeing, there's a there's a whole there's a whole like 
There's a there's a layer to him that you haven't seen. And there's Chelsea fans horrible. have seen Chelsea fans have seen J5 in the flesh when he played every week for Chelsea. Was he fantastic? Yes. Did he have performances like you saw um on the weekend for Chelsea? Of course he did. He won a Champions League playing like that. But let's not flip and lie and act like he didn't give away goals and do stupidness. And when when the play is open and he gets exposed, he looks like one of the worst players on the pitch sometimes. That's so, Jorginho. Oh, so oh, so my thing is this. My thing is this, big up Mikel Arteta for saying, I'm going to bring you in when I'm bringing you in and I'm going to take you out when I'm taking you out. And right now, business end of the season, you lot need somebody to step up into that midfield position when Jesus is out. Bro, bring on your guy. He's got it. Yeah, he's, he's, the, he's the closer. Do you know what I'm saying? You know I mean? Who loves J20? Bro, J20, I've been saying J20 love all of first, my time. First, man, of, all, first of all, first of all, Oscar, let's have it right. It's J20. Okay, it's first of all, it's J5. I don't know what any of this is. Whoa, come it's on, J5. J5. If J5. Until he wins the trophy at your perch, then you can start changing names. It's definitely, it's definitely J5. Definitely. J5. Oh. <laughs> it's a J5. It's been J5 since 2019. Man, want to come in one year with no trophy talking about J20. Yeah, come on, man. Want to make a million nine to five? And uh, anyway, yeah, they want to talk about Martinelli. Taha says, speak on Martinelli. Uh, Sad says, I put well, what's, up, what's, up, what's up, what's up, what's up with Martinelli? He's running. I don't know. They're trying to. They're trying to diss my guy. I mean, <laughs> Did you not see Martinelli's assist for Kai Havertz's goal? I'm, I'm sorry. He, he, he should. He should have never. Should have never even had a chance. Kai Havertz in that moment. Martinelli was superb. <laughs> Lola said, "Speak for Nelly. He's great." He, no. Oh, Martinelli is sick, guys. We've got sick players, bro. Martinelli. Uh, it, 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 it's funny. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, the poor exhausted because you know why I'm saying it's midweek, but now it's he's great. No, uh, midweek. Listen, midweek, Oscar. Uh, we 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 to a man and Mikel. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's a great save by Ariola. Sorry, sorry. I, I hate reacting live, but great save from Ariola. Um, he's he's yeah, solid. I like him. I, I, like I don't him. mind reaction as long as you give me some information. What happens here on this podcast? Everyone's like, oh, oh. I'm like, I'm like, what's the score? What's happened? You know what I mean? Like, tell me what's going on. Yeah, um, bro. Uh, this is the whole week round up here. They want to know about Porto. They want to know. Porto was a disaster. I, I mentioned Porto out of the yeah. jump. The DNA of Arsenal away from home in the European games is ridiculous. I can't defend. I can't defend. But, um, we were awful. We were poor. And Porto played a very good game, very cute game, and uh, did what they had to do to get their three points. And fair play to Porto. Give them all the credit. I, they were, I think they were rolling think around. They were winding around a lot. They were playing a lot of mind games and that. The referee could not wait to get the cards out. Gave Declan Rice a yellow card after 30 seconds. God, yeah, do me a yeah. favour. Do yeah, me a favour. I saw, I saw, I saw Infantino in the in the press, in the director's box. A brown envelope was handed. Wait till you see Portugal host a, a European.